peoples welcome back to another tapping video today I have decided that um, we are going to clear some blocks or resistance people have to robotic affirming now I am well aware that it seems to be a little bit of a craze at the moment that everyone's trying to do it yet not every single person that's actually doing the robotic affirming is actually having success with it um, and that may be for various reasons but I'm hoping that this tapping is going to help a lot of those people that have it uh, having the, the ones that are having trouble with it get my words out Kylie uh, so that they can clear the belief that it doesn't work for them now they may have picked up this belief this robotic affirming doesn't work for me in various ways of course it's probably um, unconscious like they didn't consciously choose that it doesn't work for them um, I keep saying they but I'm kind of referring almost to myself as well I have had it work in the past but then I went through a period of time where it wasn't working and what hap what I think happened was that um, because it had been a certain period of time or maybe there was a little bit of resistance I had sort of got it in my head that it wasn't working and then all of a sudden I've taken on this unconscious assumption or belief that it doesn't work for me and then it didn't work for me <laughs> and it's, it's like this catch 22 because then from then on even I was trying it on little stuff that should have worked it still wasn't working and then it, I finally finally clicked with me that oh my god I've taken on the belief that it's not working for me or robotic affirming doesn't work for me anymore and I kept saying robotic affirming not working for me anymore so of course it's if that's the story that I'm telling then that's what's happening so this may be um, what other people are doing as well but maybe not so much in a really conscious way like I was made conscious of, of um, of it um, it may be just in the back of your mind you're having doubts because doubt is basically the number one manifestation killer if you have any doubt that this is working or that you don't trust the process then it's probably not going to work because it's law of assumption it's whatever you assume to be true is true <laughs> for you <laughs> So today I'm going to help you clear out um, this doubt or resistance or, or belief um, so by the end of the video you're going to believe 100% that it does work for you and you may have to keep coming back uh, and doing the video over and over not like all day I mean once a day for a period of time maybe seven days maybe even longer if it's uh, you know taking a bit longer to become a habit a habitual thinking that everything is working <sighs> okay without further ado I don't want to go on too long because I have the tendency to just rattle on and on and on and on and um, some of my videos turn out to be like 20 minutes long and I don't mean it <laughs> so <sighs> we're going to test ourselves and get a number between 1 and 10 1 being the you don't believe it's true at all and uh, 10 being yes I believe this um, I want you to take a deep breath and ask yourself how strongly do I believe that robotic affirming works for me and you'll probably get a number most people do it's whatever the first thing that comes to your mind um, now if you can't um, or if you can't get a number or you have trouble trying to figure out what your number is there are other ways of being able to um, get this number so the other way would be muscle testing now that might take a little bit longer to learn <laughs> there are some muscle testing um, uh, YouTube videos like how to muscle test so if you want to just search on YouTube for how to muscle test because I don't want to make this video 20 minutes <laughs> 
So what you would do is get the two ring fingers and you put them in and that if you get a lock that's a yes and then if you get an unlock that's a no. So you ask the you ask the question how strongly do I believe that <clears throat> robotic affirming works for me and you get we go one two three four five six seven eight so I'm at eight currently which makes sense because the other day when I did this I was only at three <laughs> which means I didn't have the uh, trust and the belief that it works for me and that's why it wasn't working for me and ever since I cleared all that out it's been working for me again and that's why I wanted to do this video to help everyone else Okay, that is the muscle testing way. You can do that. Um, as I said, look on YouTube for how to do muscle testing. There's there's like probably a hundred different ways you can do it. You can do a sway test as well. The third way, I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast because I'm trying to get all of this out so I can start the tapping. Um, the third way is via using a pendulum or I think some people call it a dowsing. Please tell me if that's wrong. I'm so sorry if that's wrong. Um, so I've actually printed out a chart. So this is a percentage chart. See? And it's got all the percentages. And you could use a... If you have a pendulum, you can use the pendulum and you just swing it over the top and whatever it starts swinging on, that's your number, right? You could, If you don't have a pendulum, you can use your um, a necklace. Uh, something obviously with maybe something heavy on the end um, a long time I've had this for like 10 years I don't wear it um, but I have a, a crystal one and you just swing it over the top and whatever it lands on that's your number so if you can't get that's three ways of trying to figure out what what your current belief is at and if you know where you're at and <laughs> it's a good let me start that again. <laughs> if you know where you're at, then you know what to change. Um, if you ask yourself, how strongly do I believe robotic affirming works for me? And you get a 10, it means that's not your issue. There must be some kind of other issue. You might want to go look into some other um, like general limiting beliefs around manifestation and keep asking the number, how strongly do I believe this? How strongly do I believe this? Until you find one that's really low and then that will be the thing why it's not working for you. Okay. So, <laughs> now that you have your number and if you needed to pause and then come back, you can, we're going to start tapping. Um, so, first off, we're gonna do a round of tapping where we're going to clear out um, the old belief of it's not working for me. So we're gonna reset our nervous system so it doesn't eh, eh, up <laughs> around talking about robotic affirming. We do three setup statements on the karate chop point and then we go through the points. And as I said in my last video, I know that I talk really fast and I'm trying <laughs> to slow down and leave breaks in between between my uh, tapping so that you can repeat after me. Um, I'm sorry that sometimes I forget to leave breaks because I get on a roll, but I'm trying and I'm getting better. <laughs> Just bear with me. Um, you don't actually have to repeat as long as you can say it along with me. You can think the thought uh, or think the thing that I'm thinking uh, or saying out loud. Um, as long as you're focusing on what I'm saying and you're focusing on robotic affirming in general in your mind, then that's all going to help. All right, are we ready? <laughs> oh, and this time, this is my last interruption. I actually don't have a script. I just have just some little notes, um, but this is my first video without a script already pre-written out. So let's hope I don't fuck up. Am I allowed to swear on here? <laughs> Anyways, okay, ready? <sighs> Tapping on the crowdy chop point. Even though I have this belief that robotic affirming doesn't work for me, that's the gap that you repeat. <laughs> I still 
love and accept myself anyway. Second time, even though there's a part of me that just doesn't believe that robotic affirming works for me, I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. And the last one, I have this block or resistance to robotic affirming working for me and I don't know why I have it or how it came about. I'm repeating it in my head silently so you can do it. <laughs> All right, we're going through the points now. Top of the head, robotic affirming doesn't work for me. I don't know why it works for other people, but it, why it works for other people, but it doesn't work for me. I just get so annoyed that it doesn't work for me. It's so frustrating seeing other people get their stuff within three days just with robotic affirming and I've been doing it for weeks or months or however long you've been doing it for and I've got nothing. <sighs> All right, I want you to tell me how you feel about robotic affirming with this one. I, your turn. <sighs> I just can't seem to get it to work. I don't know why I'm resisting this so hard. Why can't I just believe it? Why can't I just, this is under the bra line. Why can't I just trust myself or trust that it works? Back to the top of the head. <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. I've tried robotic affirming and it doesn't work for me. I've tried for so long and it hasn't worked so far. Why would it work now? Under the eye. I... <laughs> I wonder how I'm going to get this to work. Maybe I can open myself up to the possibility of it working. If other people can do it, surely I can do it too. Under the lip. What if I just opened myself up to trusting that it was working, even if I can't see it? Collarbone. I'm going to choose to let this old belief go. I'm no under the bra line. Oh, by the way, you can do any side and two hands, one hand, doesn't matter. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, I'm choosing to let this go now. I'm choosing to let it go. I don't need this belief anymore. I'm the creator of my reality. I'm the one that makes the rules. I'm the one in control. I'm the one that gets to decide. So I am choosing that robotic affirming works for me. I have decided that robotic affirming works for me every time. Under the arm. Robotic affirming always works for me now. Top of the head. 
I'm trusting that robotic affirming is working for me. I trust myself. I'm going to trust the process. Under the eye, I believe in myself. I believe I can do this. This is what I'm choosing now because I get to choose. I'm giving myself permission to believe that robotic affirming works. <laughs> I allow myself to believe that robotic affirming now works for me. Because this is my reality and I make the rules. And stop and breathe. Okay, I want you to give yourself a number again. How strongly do I now believe that robotic affirming works for me? And I want you to see whether that belief has gone up. And if it hasn't gone up, gone up enough, then do another round of tapping until it gets up to a point where you feel satisfied that it's going to work. <laughs> um, and as I said, you can come back and do this again tomorrow and the next day and the next day because it, it's not like a one and done sort of thing. The mind likes to go back to the familiar. And so tomorrow or, you know, we see reality happening and we can um, maybe you won't see movement within one or two days. And then suddenly that belief starts harking up again and you can do another round of tapping and calm it down. No, I'm choosing to believe this now. I am choosing to believe that it works. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and just keep doing it until you fully believe it and it becomes a default. I intend that this tapping session has helped you release some resistance to robotic affirming working for you, changed you from the state of being of not working to it's now working. And I wish you all the success of getting your desires via robotic affirming and I hope you have an awesome day. <laughs>